Hi, everyone. Right now, Israel is preparing for a potential attack that could come this weekend. Iran vowing to retaliate against Israel after a strike on the Iranian embassy in Damascus left a high-ranking general dead. Israel has not claimed responsibility for the strike, but now Israel is preparing for yet another conflict amid the war with Hamas. A lot going on. Joining me now is Tal Heinrich, a spokesperson for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. So, good morning. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, what's the latest that you're doing to prepare for this impending attack? Thank you for having me on this morning, Anna. You see, if Iran chooses to escalate things further, it will bear the consequences. We are ready to defend ourselves. We're not seeking wars with anyone. But if someone is threatening to hurt us, if someone is hurting us, we will hurt them. That's the concept that the prime minister has stated. And uh, so we are ready to act defensively, offensively. We're fully coordinated with our allies and our best friends, the United States. Uh, CENTCOM head, General Carrilla, is uh, on the ground. He participated in situational, uh, situational assessments in, in Israel. And um, that is the right message that we should yeah. be sending to uh, our, our enemies in Tehran and anyone who's trying to destabilize the region and, and destabilize the world. Anywhere you look around the region, uh, you see, and, and you see chaos, you see terrorism, you see bloodshed, you're, you'll find the footprints of Iran. Uh, they've been threatening to hurt us, they've been hurting us uh, for many years, and including the October 7th attack via their proxy Hamas, which is more than 90% uh, funded by them. And then on October 8th, Anna, Mm -hmm. uh, Hezbollah getting their marching orders from Tehran, the right. Iranian proxy to the north, also joined in. Yeah, they seem to have proxies everywhere. Um, without a doubt, Iran is a bad actor in the region. They say that Israel started it. You started it with the, the uh, attack there in Damascus that left one of theirs dead. Israel has not claimed responsibility. Did Israel do it or not? I can't speak to the strike. What I can say is I can echo the words of the uh, IDF uh, chief of staff and, and spokesperson uh, who said that that building in Damascus, by the way, according to Israeli intelligence, was not in any way some kind of diplomatic mission or an embassy, so to say. It was a military building in disguise, uh, which served the Quds force of the IRGC, the Iran Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. And, and these are a terrorist organization. They should be recognized as such by everyone in the free world. Uh, just today, they seized uh, a, another ship in the Strait of Hormuz. Does Israel feel supported by the United States? Of course. I can tell you, Anna, everyone in Israel was so reassured to hear okay. what President Biden said this week, uh, reaffirming uh, the U.S. Uh, commitment to Israel's security, labeling it as, as ironclad. Uh, just yesterday, he came out and in front of the cameras, he sent a very, very a strong message to Iran saying, don't, don't try us. And as I just said, it's not only words, it's also backed up by actions, uh, by, by moving forces around the region, sending CENTCOM head uh, to Israel. This is the right message that we should be sending because Iran is, is not just Israel's problem. It's a, a, a problem to anyone around the world. The Houthis, this, uh, uh, you know, uh, Iranian proxy from Yemen, they pose a, a global threat to maritime commerce. Um, they should be met with, with a global response. In, in Ukraine, you, you find Iranian weaponry. And, and again, they have all of these proxies across the region, from Iraq, from Syria, the same ones that target American bases they're also targeting us in Israel right now, and since October 7th, more so. Yeah, it's been six months. It's wild that this is all still going on, so complicated and so just a dire situation there. I want our audience to hear from an IDF spokesperson, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, responding to mm -hmm. Iran's threats in a video that was just posted to, to X this morning. We're going to hear what he had to say. Iran will bear the consequences for choosing to escalate the situation any further. Israel is on high alert. We have increased our readiness to protect Israel from further Iranian aggression. So you have increased your readiness. What does that mean exactly? What is Israel doing that you can share with us? 
I can't share everything, of course, strategically, of course. operational uh, things that are happening on the ground. Um, but as you know, we continue to operate in Gaza. We're fully coordinated with the United States and other allies. We're monitoring the situation across the region in what pertains to Iran. And we will react uh, offensively, defensively, um, according to, uh, to uh, whatever w will happen. Again, I, I don't want to speculate here because everything is so sensitive. So we have to see how things unfold. Of course, we hope that Iran does not make any kind of mistake and, and does not escalate the situation any further, as, as Hagari said. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.